Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I welcome everyone to the noonday call. My name is Leslie Harvey, and I'm standing in for Prophetess Kimberly Moses on today. Let's just come on in and give God praise. Hallelujah. Because he is so great and he is so worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Great and good, mighty God you are. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We magnify, we glorify, we lift your name on high because you are so good. You are so great. You are so merciful. Our God is great. He loves us so much. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we praise you. We honor you. We magnify and glorify your name. Oh, God, this is the day that you have made. <clears throat> We are rejoicing and we are being glad in it, despite of the circumstances around us. You are your your promises are true. They are yes and amen, oh God. And you said you'll never leave us nor you forsake us. So Father, you're with us while we go through these trials, while we go through these tribulations, while we go through this course that you have put us on, oh God. We thank you, oh God, that we're a light in dark places, oh God. We thank you you, Lord, hallelujah, for health, for strength, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for allowing us to see another day to give you praise, to give you the honor and give you the glory, oh God. Many didn't wake up today, and many that did wake up, they didn't wake up in their right mind, oh God. They're all confused, but we thank you, oh God, that we're not confused, that our mind is stayed on you, is focused on you, oh God, and we thank you. We praise you, oh God. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name. You're just great. You're so wonderful. You're so loving and merciful. We thank you, oh God, for your grace, for your favor on today. New mercies we see every morning. We thank you, oh God, every day because it's almost afternoon. And we thank you, oh God, hallelujah, for all that you have done for us. We trust you, Lord. Hallelujah. We trust you, Lord. Our trust is in you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for wisdom. For wisdom, O oh God. You've given us wisdom, O oh God. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on how to endure, how to go through. Hallelujah. This journey that we're on, O oh God. And we Thank you, O oh Lord. We just thank you, O oh God, hallelujah, for forgiving us, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for not leaving us while we were in our mess, O oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you, O oh God, hallelujah. Glory be to your name. Yes, God, we thank you. And we just love you so much, Lord. Lord, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you, O oh God. If it had not been for you, if it had not been for you, O oh God, we thank you, O oh God. And it's to you we praise. It's to you we give the honor. And it's to you we give the glory, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God. God, hallelujah. Nobody like you. There's nobody like you. Your name is great. Your name is mighty, O oh God. You are Abba, Abba, Father. You are Jehovah, Jireh. You are Jehovah, Nisi. You are Jehovah, Shalom. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, and we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for being who you are, oh God. Hallelujah. We lean not to our own understanding, but we trust in you in everything that we do, oh God. Hallelujah. We ask you, oh God, before we make any decisions concerning our lives, even what we should wear, hallelujah, what we should eat on that day, whether we should fast oh God, or just, just go without, oh God, or limiting our meal, we seek you. You, oh God, we seek to hear from you, oh God. Hallelujah. We'd like, uh, we invite you, Holy Spirit, let your presence reign on this line. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> on today. We cancel the enemy's assignment on this line, any internet failure, any call interruptions in the name of Jesus. We should have what we say. So we only say what we want to have. And so, Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We call, Father, we're going to decrease so you can increase hallelujah and let your word go forth on this line today oh god father we thank you oh god hallelujah that we seek ye first the kingdom we seek ye first the kingdom and all your righteousness and all these other things things shall be added unto us oh father so we thank you oh god because we seek first what you want us to do father what is you want what do you want us to say yes. to others oh god we seek the kingdom, O oh Kai, and everything else it shall come. It shall come, and we thank you, God, because that's a promise, O oh God, that you have made. We thank you, God, that we are above and not beneath. We are the head and not the tail, O oh God. And we thank you, God, for those who are looking for employment, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that you're sustaining them during this time, O oh God. I thank you, God, that you supernatural miracles that you're performing for them during this time. In the name of Jesus, I declare and decree right now their bank accounts will be overflowed. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father, for supernatural deposits. I thank you, O oh God, hallelujah, for their cash apps to go off in the name and their PayPal in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, O oh God, that you're going to have someone just bless them, O oh God. And so therefore, they have no father. Their faith will be renewed in you. That just, nothing is too hard for you. Nothing is too hard for you, nor nothing is impossible. You're a God of abundance. Hallelujah. Abundance. So there's no shortage in heaven. Hallelujah. And we thank you, O oh God. You abundantly supply all of our needs of according to your riches and glory, your riches, O oh God. And we thank you, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh God. Hallelujah. There's nobody like you. And we just love on you, God, because you just love us so much. We thank you just for loving us, for keeping us, caring for us, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for your fire, for your anointing, O oh God, because we are anointed, O oh God. And we thank you, O oh Lord. We thank you, Lord, hallelujah, for the blessings that you're storing upon us on this day. We live in expectancy. We are blessed in this mess. In the name of Jesus, we shall have what we say. So we say what we want to have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We speak increase. We speak abundance. We speak salvation for our loved ones in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We cover every prophet, every apostle, every minister, every evangelist, in the name, every, yeah, every church door says open in your name. We cover them, oh God, during this time. Hallelujah. We we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That you, their minds are stay focused on you, oh God, so you can give them a word to give to your people, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, oh God, that we sit still. We sit still, Holly, as we pray. We sit still in our long time with you, and we wait to hear your answer, O oh Kai. We wait. We don't get up too fast. We sit there and wait, O oh Kai, just to bask and soak in your presence, O oh Kai, like, like never before, O oh Kai. Hallelujah. Because we're looking to you, O oh Kai, for answers, O oh Kai, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For you to speak to us, O oh Kai. The scales are taken off our eyes, and our ears are increased to hear here like never before. And Father God, we just we, we come into you, God, and we declare and decree that this hurricane that's out there in the Gulf in the name or the Atlantic Ocean that's supposed to hit the uh, certain states in the name of Jesus and hit them twice, certain cities. So Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, declare and decree no harm and danger should come to anyone's business in the name of Jesus, anyone's home. There should not be any deaths in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over every person uh, that is going to be affected by this hurricane or in the uh, in the pathway of it. In the name of Jesus, we know you could do a turnaround it's, it's suddenly in a turnaround in the name of Jesus. Cover those families. Cover those children. Cover their property. Cover their belongings in the name of Jesus. This is how we do. This is how we fight our battles. We fight our battles through prayer. And we're praying and we're declaring and decreeing in the name of Jesus because you said we can do that. And, and, they, and for you to do some supernatural, God, that never, I don't care what the news media say. I don't care what's being displayed on the television. We put our faith and our trust in you to turn it around 
around in the name of Jesus. And God, I thank you right now. I thank you right now that they have enough for those who decide to stay and not evacuate, that they have enough to to sustain them during this time in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for that. I thank you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for our first responders in the name of Jesus, for our police officers. Hallelujah. We pray for uh, the nurses and the doctors of the hospital staff, all of those who are dealing in this time during this pandemic in the name of Jesus. Cover them. Keep them. Protect them, oh God. Protect their families, oh God. Sustain their marriages during this time, oh God, in the name of Jesus and their families and their children, oh God, because they're spending so many hours away, oh God. And I thank you, oh God, hallelujah, for sustaining them during this time in the name of Jesus. And I thank Thank you, oh God, for miracles that you're going to perform, miracle after miracle after miracle. And I thank you, God, for miracles, 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 miracles. I thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. I glory to your name for miracles, oh God. I thank you. And it's in Jesus' name, we ask all of these prayers. Amen, 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 and amen. Again, i like to welcome you. My name is Leslie Harvey to the call. Uh, Paralyzed on today, I'm standing in for Prophet Moses, Kimberly Moses. And we're going to speak today on her book, Overcoming Emotions with Prayer, uh, Chapter 153. And the topic today is Miserable. Hallelujah. So according to Webster's, this emotion means to be wretchedly unhappy, uneasy, or uncomfortable. My God. So how many of us have been miserable? Thank you, Lord. When God makes a promise to us, uh, he says he's going to do it, and God is true to his word. How many of us want to help God? Or try to help God because we get tired of waiting, of the waiting process. But during these trials and stuff that we go through, because we all face trials and tribulations with our walk with God, we're going to have them. We're going to have them. And just uh, uh, in the Bible, it talks about how, you know, Sarah, Sarah was unhappy. God gave her a promise that her and Abraham would have uh, have a son and what his name would be. But during that time and that waiting period, you know, Sarah became, she was unhappy. She got tired of waiting. She got tired of waiting. So what she did was she tried to help God. And she tried to help God by giving Hagar, the maidservant, to speed up the process. You know, and God I never told her she was going to do it. So what about us? Just look back at us. Is that something that we have done? I know I have tried to speed up the process because I got tired of waiting. And I'm getting miserable, getting talked about. Uh, laughed at and during the and during the waiting process, and I can only imagine what you know what was going on in that time of Sarah and Abraham. You know, God told him, and they ha- you're happy because you get a word from God, and and but it doesn't happen overnight. It can happen, but in this instance, in this this instance or situation, it didn't. So they tried to help God up, to help him speed up the process, and even like with Cain and Abel, the story of Cain and Abel. Now, Cain didn't bring his best offering up to the Lord, but Abel did. So Cain was unhappy and upset with his brother because of something he didn't do correctly? Yes, that's what happened. And therefore, then he killed his brother behind that. Cain killed Abel. So, again, how many of us get miserable upset or unhappy because of our brothers and sisters are doing what they're and Christ is supposed to do and they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're bringing God their best. They're giving God their best, their best prayers, their best offerings, uh, spending time with God, hearing from him. But get, we get upset when somebody else is blessed or receive their, the promise of God before ours. Don't, we don't have to do that. We just stay and wait and be obedient. Amen. What about the story of Naomi? Naomi was, but she lost her husband and her sons. Yes, she was miserable. A mother losing her child, her husband and her child, her children. Yes, that could be be miserable and unhappy, and happiness, and had to return home. Okay, but at the end of the day, it all went well. It all turned out well. 
it worked in her favor. Amen. Amen. Because Ruth went with her. And she ended up being blessed with her, you know, met Boaz and you know, as the story goes on. Praise God. Praise God. Ruth decided to hang on and go on. Had she not, then these things might not have happened for Naomi. You know, no one can re- can replace the part of losing a child or a husband. But God, the Holy Spirit comforts us during this time of grieving. Yes, it hurts. I can understand. It hurts. But during the time of grieving, hallelujah, we're comforted by the Holy Spirit. And what about Noah? We're going to talk about Noah. Noah building the ark. Wow. It took him a long time, many years to build that ark. And all types of weather, hot, cold, windy, you name it. He went through all those, all those seasons and probably then some. But during that time, he remained faithful. And he continued to on his focus on his assignment and go forth what God had called him to do is to build that ark because that was his assignment. How many of us stay focused on our assignment instead of getting caught up in emotion, getting miserable or unhappy because it doesn't come to pass? You know, sometimes we have to tune out others. If they're not going the same way that you are, and could you please uh, reach your line? I can hear you in the background. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. So how many of us get from our assignment? Sometimes we get sidetracked because others are all in our ear, you know, saying this and that or another, you know, because it doesn't, God didn't speak to them. God spoke to us and gave us the assignment. And so what, and that being, amen. So we need to go for just go forward and continue to do what God has called us to do, regardless of what the naysayers may say to us. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for that word. I needed that one. And about uh, Jacob, Jacob was tricked by his uncle, his flesh and blood, layman. He worked seven years to, to get what he thought was Rachel on the night, the wedding night, and turned out it was her sister. He didn't want the sister, so then he worked another seven years. He endured the process, which was a total of 14 years. When he received the one that he loved, which was Rachel, then she was barren. My God. My God. So he worked 14 years to get the woman that he loved, and she was barren. But God saw how much hmm, favor. God saw how much Jacob loved Rachel and opened up her womb. Are we willing to go through this? It's the process. I'm not saying the years because it could take, it could take, you know, I, I, could take God to do it this long. But are we willing to endure and go through? Hallelujah. And not caught up in this motion, miserable. Yes, he was, he was miserable, but he stayed because he, he loved Rachel. And he knew he was going to get Rachel, and that he did. It took some time, but it, he did get her. It took some years, I say years, but he was still able to get her. Her love, he had her for his wife and still built her child. And Job, we all know about the story of Job. Job lost his house, his riches, his cattle, even his children. Was he unhappy during the process? I believe he was unhappy during the process, and God, but he miserable. But he, but he did not do. He did not curse God and die, like his wife said. He remained faithful. He remained faithful. He did not curse God, and God knew he would not, and He took him through this process. Amen. Amen. And he didn't complain. My God. Moses, 40 years, the children of Israel wandering around, they would, I know he was miserable, amen, unhappy, unsatisfied with the children of Israel because they're complaining, they're murmuring uh, about everything that was going on. But yet, God kept them, he sustained them, even though he had them going around the same wilderness for these many years, he still kept them, he sustained them. They he had they had food every day, fresh food every day. The, uh, the Bible says they had manna. Their shoes, their clothes never ran out. God still kept them. 
even through all this grumbling and complaining. So how many of us keep going around this same, same, same old mountain, this same mountain, same mountain, because we're, we're complaining about what's going on in our lives and not seeking God for the answers? Just complaining, just complaining. Oh, when is going to be my time? You know, uh, uh, when is this going to happen for me? God, you said it. When is it going to happen? Instead of continue to trust him and stay before him, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, and seek guidance from him. Like I said, uh, yes, thank you, Lord. So these are some of the some of the uh, uh, situations in the Bible that happened to those uh, who were going through. They were going through. They were hurting with this emotion. They were miserable. They were unhappy. It was uneasy, and it was uncomfortable. They faced trials, and they faced tribulations, and that was their walk with God, the ones who got appointed, just like God has chosen uh, many of us. You know, some he cho- she chose, he's chosen us to do his work here on the earth. Is it uneasy? Yes, it's uneasy. It's not easy, but it can be, it, it can be, it's not easy, but all things, we, all, we, we, we can do all things through Christ. We can do all things through Christ. We're going to have trials. Yes, we are. We're going to go through tribulations. Yes, we are. But in spite of all these trials and tribulations, we grow spiritually during this storm. We're growing spiritually. It's strengthening our inner man, our, you know, our faith muscles. Hallelujah. So we can endure because we're going to be going through something on this walk. During this journey, we are going to go through something. There's going to be trials, be tribulations, because he's because that's what the Bible says. We will have trials and tribulations, whether it be in finances, whether it be when, you know with our children, our family, uh, in our health. Hallelujah. We're going to go through. But again, we're just going through because we already have the victory, the Bible says. We are already victorious. Hallelujah. We, he's given us power, and we have to use and exercise our power. Hallelujah. And this is a little testimony because I have been going through. Amen. Lord God, my husband and I, when we were facing foreclosure, my God, based on foreclosure on one house and uh, uh, owed on the back taxes on another house. My goodness. So we had to learn how to trust in God. Was it uncomfortable? Yeah, it was uncomfortable. God, but God told us that everything was going to be okay. Now, this is a two, almost a two-year journey that we went through this. But, yes, God showed himself out and because we had to listen and obey when he told us the things that he told us. Even, even when we were trying to seek help and trying to help God out, so we tried to get alone and, and those type of things that didn't work out because we weren't trusting God. We were leaning to our own understanding, and that's why those things didn't work out for us. But when we submitted and was crying out, reading the word, making declarations, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Amen. During that trial period that we were going through, my God, and it was, and we had to give, I, well, God had me to give words to, because he was, he was increasing uh, the faith of my husband as well as we were going through, letting him know that he was speaking to me. That was another thing. And we in here trying to get assistance, and, and God had me to give a word to the lady after she denied us. You know, come on, you guys. So, yes. And I was like, Lord, you want me to give a word? And I and gave it to her. I didn't know. You know, I'm just a vessel being used by God during this time period. But when I tell you, God told us, and we listened, and we followed the instructions. But we here now to say the house ain't going foreclosure. My God, and it was sold. And the property taxes that the house we're in now, uh, we got a discounted rate, Jesus' name, that we was able to pay that up. And I thank God for that. But, yes, but we had to go through. Yes, we were miserable, but we were talked about. My God. We tried to, you know, when someone find out, when our families found, found out about what we was going through, yeah, they laughed, they talked about us. Holy, mm, thank you, Lord. But still, we stayed we endured, hallelujah, in the promise what God had gave us. It manifested. So I thank God for that. And that's just a little word of encouragement for someone. Just continue to go through the process. Hallelujah. Thank
thank you, Father. You know, the emotion, miserable, if it comes upon you, you know, or, or where you be unhappy and uneasy and comfortable about any of your situation, just say, God, I repent and I just trust you, Lord. I trust you to manifest everything that you said to me. My The joy, my strength is in you, O oh God. I will not get weary and will do. I will continue to press on, press on, continue to go. Hallelujah to all ends for you because I know, hallelujah, you love me so much. You would never leave me or forsake me. That is his promise. Hallelujah. And then we can sit and, and, and now he gave us peace. We get the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. he give you peace while you're going through these trials and tribulations. You know, those can look at you, others from the outside, and be like, I know what they're going through. And, and, and they, got, they can smile, they can and be happy, but then I let them know that the God that you serve can do the same thing for them. Because what's on their life, I want that on my life, my God. And they give you a chance to witness to others about how good God is, how he sustained you and kept you in your right mind. Because you, your mind stayed on him. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. So relax and learn from the experiences and trust that God will bring you out. We had to relax and learn from that experience. So did we still have situations? Yeah, we still have situations. They're still coming. My, they haven't stopped. The enemy, he even sit back and said, okay, well, that, that's done. Uh, uh, that's, that's over with. No, he's coming with other things. But we know that. And we continue to trust, believe, Read and keep our, our faith in God. Mm, mm, mm. It's just a matter of time before we overcome that one. But we're always going to have obstacles. That's just that's life. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that too. They're going to continue to come. But I thank God, hallelujah, that he sustains us. He keeps us. Hallelujah. Abba, Abba, Father. He loves us just that much. So, Father God, I thank you. I thank you for your word. Hallelujah. I thank you for the deliverance of being miserable from this emotion. I thank you, oh God, we will not be unhappy. We will not be uneasy, nor will we be uncomfortable when these trials and tribulations come. Hallelujah. But we'll put our faith and our trust in you. You will help us sustain during this time. And I thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father, you are my strength. You are my strength. I sing praise to you. You, O oh God, are my fortress, my loving God. I will bless the name of the Lord at all times. His praise shall continuously be in my mouth. My soul makes it boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. I sought the Lord and he answered. Mm -mm -mm. I sought the Lord and he answered. Let's say that one more time. I sought the Lord and he answered. He answers us and delivered us from all of our fears. Lord, I confess and I repent of being miserable. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all of their troubles. When the righteous cry for help, are you the righteous? Are we the righteous? Cry for help. The Lord hears and delivers them out of all of your troubles. My God. That's a promise. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in the spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of it all. He keeps all of his bones. Not one of them is broken. I declare and decree that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and minds in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord told Joshua, have I not commanded you? Have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. Hallelujah. For the Lord, your God, is with you wherever you go. 
I will rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. I declare and decree that my God will supply every one of your needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. We can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. We can do all things through Christ. If that thing you thought you could not do, yes, you can, because the Bible says we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. And we know that it's for those who love God, all things work together for good and for those who are called according to his purpose. We are all called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. He created us. He made us. And it's not we ourselves. Hallelujah. We declare and decree that even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil. For you are with us. Your rod, your stad, they comfort us. Lord, we thank you that your grace is sufficient for us. For your power is made perfect in our weakness. Therefore, we will boast all the more gladding, gladly of our weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest upon us. We declare and we decree that we will not let our hearts be troubled, but believe in God. We declare and we decree that you will keep us in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because we trust in you, because we trust in you. We declare and we decree that we will not be conformed to this world, but we will be transformed by the renewing of our minds that by testing us, you may discern what is, we may discern what is your will, what is good and what is acceptable and perfect. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we know that this is for our good. This is working for our good. All of this is working for our good. Hallelujah. For the moment. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hebrews 12 and 11 says, for the moment, all disciples seem painful rather than present. But later, it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Father, we thank you for answering this prayer, and it's in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I just thank you and I praise you, O oh God, hallelujah, that your word went forth on this day, O oh God. I thank you, O oh God. We will no longer be miserable, hallelujah, but we will seek you for everything that we do. We will seek you for knowledge. We will seek you for understanding. We will seek you for what path to go, left or to the right. We will seek you, O oh God. I thank you that our discernment is so our discernment is so clear, O oh God. Hallelujah. We'll know when to do what you have called us to do. We'll move at that time, O oh God. We'll be obedient to your voice and the stranger's voice we will not follow. We know your voice, O oh God. And I thank you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for your voice that speaks to us, your voice that comforts us, your voice that shields us, O oh God. I thank you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. There's nobody but you, O oh God. Hallelujah. You are a great God, and I thank you, O oh Lord. I thank you, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, amen, 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 and amen. Glory to God. We're going to shift, hallelujah, to the announcements. Father, I thank you. Yes, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. In one second here, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Prophet K has a Monday mo Monday a morning motivation. Hallelujah. Are you suffering? Are you suffering is the topic. If you haven't listened to it, uh just uh it's still available on her YouTube channel. Uh also too, uh I encourage everyone who has not uh joined the overcoming emotions uh with prayer group, which is on Facebook. Uh there's a lot of a lot of testimonies, a lot of uh it's coming from her book, uh, but there's different intercessors, prophetess that's on there, uh, giving the word of God in uh, prayer. Uh, this is so much uh, to help you, to help us, because it helps me to uh, go through these uh, emotions that may flare up and how to deal with it. And I thank God for it. So if it's anyone, invite them to the group, have them tune in. Uh, to just to listen to it, it'll bless them. Uh, she also has uh, a membership on her YouTube channel. Uh, there's three different, yeah, three different levels. So if you're interested in that, just go to the, her YouTube channel, uh, go to subscribe, and all the information is on there. Uh, she's going to have the Day of the Daughter uh, talk. No, she's going to, I'm sorry, she's going she's, she's gonna to be on the Day of the Daughter talk. Uh, it's hosted by, uh, it's on Periscope by Prophetess Rosheeda. Uh, her and Prophetess Kimberly Moses and also to uh, Dr. Zolisha Ware is going to be on there as well. And it's September the 4th. For Prophet's K, September 11, for uh, Dr. Ware. Yes, and the Periscope uh, page is Anointed 119. So if you're interested in that, uh, tune in as well. And Dr. Ware is having a symposium September the 18th and the 19th. I know that's going to be powerful. And for all those who are interested, uh, Prophetess K, I know it's on, it can subscribe, she subscribe on her, her, uh, her website. I'm sorry. Yeah, her website is subscribe, and you'll get all the emails and stuff on things that she's doing uh, and things that are coming. She's going to be a speaker at Dr. Ware's event, her symposium. And if you can't make it in person, there's uh you can also do it online. She's going to have online uh, that. And it's going to be awesome. And I would encourage everyone to support Dr. Ware as well. However, just support her. Amen. And also, too, uh, join us for Tongues of Fire every morning at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We pray in an hour for our, our heavenly language for an hour. Amen. Uh, Prophet is Kimberly Moses has so much going on. She has a, a her books. <laughs> she has a beauty uh, uh, business, and she also has a magazine and just so many other things. So you can just tune on to her or her website and see a lot of things that she's doing. Uh, amen. And let's support our prophecies and also keep her in prayer, her and her family. Okay. Glory to God. So now we'll transition to the testimonies. Does anyone have a testimony? You can come forth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I got a testimony. Yes, woman of God, you can come forth. This is, this is Shantae. And, Hi. And um, I have been having a lot of stuff going on Um Oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord. I have been having a lot of stuff going on, and um, thing, it seemed like I was getting attacked from all sides, And um, but God was leading me the whole way, and he was showing me who I needed to um, contact to pray for me. You know, mm-hmm. because some, you know, sometimes we think we have to suffer in silence, and we think that we don't have to. You know, we we shouldn't be uh, worrying anybody else, but, I mean, 
we are all supposed to be helpers one to another. So he showed me exactly who to get to pray for me and everything. And then he made me get up uh, to get in prayer when I wanted to rest. Mm-hmm. And um, and I and I found out somebody that I loved dearly had passed away or whatever. But uh, he had me praying for them. So he was letting me know that I was going to be reaping in prayers. But, you know, sometimes we don't know why we're going through the stuff, you know, why we're going through it. But then he ends up showing us. And the testimony of this is so beautiful. It's beautiful to me because I just found out last night who it was for. Because, of course, we don't go through it just for ourselves, but it's to help somebody else go through it. I found out last night that the very things that I just went through, this person has been going through that stuff, and they feel like they was alone. So, you know, my testimony is I just thank God for showing me the way so somebody else can come through, too. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank, thank you, Father. You, you know, and, and thank you, woman of God, for that. And it's, you're right. What we go through, it's not for us. It's for somebody else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we can we can let them exactly. <laughs> That's I'm like, it's oh. funny now. It was funny then. But funny. No, it's not funny while you're going through. I understand. I, <laughs> people are like, Lord, 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 Lord. I, I understand. It's not funny when you're going through. But then when you go through it and it's like, okay, so, Lord, it was for this person. I'm supposed uh-huh. to, okay, th- okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, I, okay, I, I get you. And we're vessels. He uses us, and he puts no more mm-hmm. on us than, than what we can handle. So, you know, he tempts us, the Bible says, no more than we'll be able to be tempted. So if he gives it to us, we can handle it. Like, right. Oof, we can handle it. Yes, thank you for that testimony. That's awesome. That's awesome. Awesome. Glory to God. Glory to God. Anyone else? That, uh, next person? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, if no one else has a testimony, then uh, I can shift the prayer request. Does someone, does someone have a prayer request? Anyone? I have a prayer request. Yes. Um, how you doing, woman of God? This is um, Glory. Um, my, if you would pray for me, um, I'm believing God to make a way and to open doors um, so I'll be able to move within the next month or two. Okay, and your name is, is it Lori? I'm sorry, Lori, L-O-R-I? No. Glory, G-L-O-R-Y. It is, it is Glory. Okay, I, th- I thought I heard yes. you correct. Okay. All righty. Father God, we come to you. We lift up, uh, we lift up his glory to you, this woman of God, Father. This is your child, Father. We thank you, God, in advance, Father, for the way that you're making for her. We thank you, O oh God, hallelujah, you're going to open up a door for her, Father, like in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, hallelujah, the blessings are falling upon her, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh Father, we thank you, Father, hallelujah. The finances are coming in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name, Father, that you're going to give her direction, uh, 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 discernment, and specific instructions on what is she supposed to do, Father. I thank you, O Father. She continues to seek you, O God. You're going to make it clearer than never, as never before, O God. I thank you, O God, that you're speaking to her right now during this prayer, O God. And I thank you, O God, hallelujah, for order steps and instructions, O God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O God, for abundant blessings to come her way. She is blessed in this mess, O God. The hymn windows of heaven are open over to her, O God, and I thank you, O God for prosperity in Jesus' name. Mm, hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Does anyone else have a prayer request? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
I bless your name, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. If I have a request. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I had them to pray for my uh, nieces and nephews a while back, and uh, it seemed like they still need prayer because uh, they under age, so that's why I want to say their names. But uh, uh, because they had already been saved, but like it's like the enemy is, you know, trying to pull them to the world and and all that kind of stuff. And so I say I get you to pray for them again, please. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we lift up these children unto you, unto God. We lift these children up to you, Father. We ask you to cover them, Father, to keep them, Father, in the name of Jesus. We cancel the enemy's assignment that's on their life, oh God. We cancel the enemy. <clears throat> we send him, we boomerang his plots and plans back to the pits of hell. We thank you, oh God, hallelujah, that they will do a turnaround, oh God. Hallelujah, they will not be tugged into the things that, that they're not supposed to go into, oh God. We thank you O oh God, for their minds are being transformed and renewed by you. We thank you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Uh, that that uh, This woman of God continues to pray for them, O oh God, and cover them and keep them. We stand in agreement, O oh God, because you said with two or three are gathered in your name that you are in the midst, O oh God. So we thank you, O oh God. Hallelujah. That they would not backslide, O oh God, but they would continue to go forth in you, O oh God, in any fear or distraction that they have, O oh God. I thank you, O oh God, that you're canceling in the name of Jesus. I thank you, O oh God, that it may look pleasing on that side, O oh God, but I thank you, O oh God. Hallelujah. You're going to show them it's nothing but thorns, O oh God, and for them to revert back to their side and what they know, O oh God, and they know is you, O oh Father. Believing in you, loving in you, and trusting in you, O oh God. And I thank you, O oh God, for the hedge of protection around them, that no hurt, harm, or danger shall come to them. And it's in Jesus' name we ask all of these prayers. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You. You're welcome. You're welcome. You, Amen. Hallelujah. I can take one more prayer request. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I would like you to pray for my hello. Yes, I'm here. I'd like you to pray for my son Jane. She's in California in the Wi Fi. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we lift up James to your car. Father God, while all the destruction, the fires are going on, in the name of Jesus, James is safe, oh God. He's safe in your arms, oh God. I thank you, oh God. I plead the blood of Jesus around him, around his household, around his loved ones, any his friends, those, anyone. It shall not come near them. In the name of Jesus, his belongings, oh God, are safe, oh God. I thank you, oh God. He will not lose anything during that fire, oh God. And I thank you, oh God, not just his, but him, oh Oh God, he remains safe. He remains covered in your blood, oh God. And I thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. Hedge of protection all around him, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for protecting our loved ones, Father. Hallelujah. It is in Jesus' name. Mm, amen. Hallelujah. Bless your name, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, everyone. Uh, this will conclude the prayer line for today. I thank you guys for tuning in um, and staying on the line the full time. Uh, Uh, yes, thank you. I appreciate you, uh, and I speak blessings upon you and from your family, on your household, 
In Jesus' name. And tune back tomorrow. Again, I'll see you in the morning uh, at 6 a.m. for Tongues of Fire. And if not, I'll see. Uh, tune in for the noon call on tomorrow. Thank you much. And have a wonderful day. Mm-hmm. God bless. God bless you.